Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy, you love Nick Tanner, back again with another episode of the Arizona Cardinals Fantasy Draft Series here on YouTube. Hopefully everybody's doing great. I am finally getting back into recording the series. It's been a while since I've been recording, and it feels like it's been a while since I keep on updating it with episodes and stuff like that. If you guys don't know, recently, I just recently got married and stuff. So I've been very busy with all of that and just life stuff. So hopefully I can get back on track and get episodes out for you guys more. But I will say thank you guys for all the love and support on the series so far. These numbers have been hitting absolute peak numbers for me for a series. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. If you guys do want to keep on keeping up with the videos and keeping up with me in general, if you guys could do me a big favor, make sure you guys hit that sub button. Every little sub does help. Like you guys do not understand how much it would mean to me if you guys do hit the sub button. Also leave a like, comment all that good stuff so I can keep in track with you guys and check in and stuff like that. Let me know how you guys are enjoying the franchise, things I should do, things that I'm doing wrong. Literally anything does help. Today, we are going up against the San Francisco 49ers sitting at a four and five. We are going to be playing at home. And it looks like one of their top threats is Miles Garrett. So I'm interested to see how that looks. I also wanted to let you guys know, I've really been pushing off these player negotiations fairly bad, only because in, in other Madden games, if you did a fantasy draft, you didn't have to worry about some of your stars asking for contracts because like I think Madden would just give them the contract or like if they were picked high enough they get certain contracts but I did push it off and we do have some players that are just not happy at all and I kind of wish I would have known this a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Like Shaquille Griffin is our top guy and he's not coming back. He is, he's, he doesn't have any interest in signing with us. I don't know what I did. He's the starting corner here. Uh, we revolve our corners around his personality, speed, man coverage. Like he's the foundation of that. I mean, Jamal Williams isn't really happy either. Hopefully that's just not my fault and they're just waiting too long to sign these guys. But if you wanted to know where we're looking at for that, that's what we're looking like. I kind of went around and looked at some of the scout players, but I'm not really going to go into depth with that until actual offseason happens because I don't know what we're going to draft. It looks like, honestly, we might just go corner. At this point, if we're going to lose our top guy, we're going to have to fill that hole or we might be trading for a top guy if that number one pick isn't really sitting well with me. Without further ado, man, we'll go ahead. We'll look into the weekly strategy and then we're going to go ahead and look at their roster. You guys know how it works. Uh, it looks like their top threat is someone named Chris Aludicon. I've never heard of this guy in my life, uh, but I know franchise was glitching last time because I thought Tannehill was benched. Don't really know about that. And then they have Casey. Casey Hayward, my guy, you know, for the Falcons, baby, rise up, baby. Drake season, get you a beanie right here, guys. I'll put the link down in the description. You guys got to get you one of these, man. They're so comfy and they're cheap. Keep you warm all winter. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, we got my boy Casey Hayward on the other side of the ball for them. We do have a media question this week. Jameson Williams is the final year of his contract and has turned down your contract offers to this point. So how apart do you think both sides are right now? Don't worry, guys. We are going to make sure we sign him. We will get him signed. Do not worry. Jameson Williams will not be leaving this team. I'll make sure but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna look to see who they got on their roster real quick as uh as far as players they do got miles garrett they stick with trey lance at quarterback okay i like that for them that's cool miles Sanders at running back team's looking very young just off those two jamar chase a star receiver for them brian edwards donovan people jones a very young team i like that from them evan ingram is their tight end Andrew Thomas, a stud at left tackle. Eric Flowers, Ryan Kelly, Kyle Long, and Bra there. Oof, this could be a tough game for us. I think they're going to hold us down on the line pretty good. Demarcus Lawrence on one side and Miles Garrett on the other. I don't think this record is really showing this team, bro. Like, I think this team is going to be tough. Those two on the end, Miles Jack in the middle for them, Quan Alexander as an outside linebacker, and then you got Casey Hayward, Adoree Jackson, Xavier Rhodes, and Bradley Roby. Gabriel Peppers and Jimmy Ward. I, this team is solid. I, 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 this is a very, very solid team. Very well drafted, and uh, hopefully we can go ahead and compete. Hopefully we have a good game, guys. We're going to go ahead. We're going to rock the traditional should we go have them thinking about it? I think we're going to go ahead and change. We are going to go ahead and rock the all black jerseys. I like it. I like the idea. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and get this game started. I'll catch you guys when the game gets started. It's Madden NFL 23. And up next, we'll see Jalen Hurts, your top dog in the league this season, ranking first in passing yards. It's the Cardinals and the Niners on Monday night. From the oldest capital city in the Americas, founded in 1325, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. 
tonight we wrap up week 11 with a good Monday nighter between the San Francisco 49ers and the Arizona Okay, I didn't know it was a Monday night game though. Okay. Prime time? Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. They've been playing their best football of the year. Winners of four in a row. And the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. On the other side of the field for the visiting 49ers, they too were 33 sacks is crazy so for them. Give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. I'm excited for this one. And we're in Mexico. This is a Mexico game? Oh, my God. We got to win this, right? In Mexico, Monday night. Let's get to it, man. Third and 11. We're going to go ahead. We're going to play that cover four. Hopefully, they don't get a first down or nothing. We got Simmons, that linebacker. We're going to go ahead. I got Jamar Chase locked down. Let's see if we can get him covered underneath. That's going to be a sack. The line cannot hold TJ Watt. He's going to get his first sack of the game. And let's fucking go, man. He ran right into him. That's what we like to see, man. T.J. Watt. Even being held by his neck? Come on, man. This ain't a Halloween movie. First time getting the ball. We're going to go ahead and hand the ball off to Etienne. Etienne, he sees a hole. Going to get a first down and a little bit more. Good starting run by Etienne. I feel like we always do so much better in the black jerseys anyway. I'm going to keep this ball on the ground. We're going to keep on going with this uh, this with this read option real quick. Read option. Jalen Hurts keeps it. He's going to go ahead. Tuck. And another first down running the ball. We are moving the rock. What a run by Jalen Hurts, too. He pulled that thing. Took it for the first down. That's the leader of our offense. They're going to have to stop this run. They're going to have to stop this run. I'm feeling we send Albert out here in motion. We pile up that left side. ETM with the run. We get past midfield with the three-yard run by ATM. And we're going to try throwing it to Albert, and he is locked and covered by Quan Alexander. Third and seven, we need to get a first down. They're only rushing three. I, I kind of want to see if I can get a run in here. Oh, they send the house, though. Very bad play call by me. We're only going to get two there. I saw three on the line. I thought I'd be able to get past them, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and punt this away. In 2005, a 31 14 Arizona victory in front of an announced crowd of over 103,000. But fortunately, he's able to recover. What was that? First and 10, we do get the ball back. Let's see if we can get something moving here. We're going to throw it to Jameson Williams. Jameson Williams is going to catch the ball. Gets leveled out there by I don't even know who that was. First and 10, we're going to keep this ball in the air. Short passes, see if we can get it moving. We got ETN in the middle of the field. Go ahead, easy pitch and catch. Just keep, the, keep the rock moving, keep the rock moving. Looking to throw again on the grief, he's naked. We're gonna go ahead, throw it to Etienne again, who just cannot hang on to the ball. Big, big first down we need here. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna fake the handoff, and we're gonna go ahead, and Jalen Hurts is gonna put his head down, give Qual and Alexander in the business, and he's gonna take that first down. Second and eight. We're gonna go ahead, throw it to Williams, and he's gonna go ahead and snag it down. Embracing the hit, going up, getting it, and bringing that thing. Oh, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up. Be that man. See Higgins is getting a little loud here in Mexico. I like Higgins on the go route. Oh, that's a bad throw, but Higgins don't care, and he goes up and snags it. Grown man football, T. Higgins. And Jalen Hurts leading the team down the field. Higgins going up and grabbing it. Wow. What a play by Higgins. Third and one. I like Higgins on that outside. I'm going to see if I can go up and throw it to him. It looks like it's covered. Oh, and we got hit hard. But that's what happens when you go up against Miles Garrett. It's not going to be easy every time. We are going to go for it here. We are going to go for it here. Read option. 
Going for it. Here's We're going to give it to Etienne. Etienne gets to the outside. That's a huge first down for Etienne. I was nervous about giving him the ball, but it ends up paying off wonder. We are in the red zone, but it is third and eight. Need to make something happen. We're going to have, go ahead. We're just going to pitch it out to Etienne. Etienne lowers his shoulder. Run somebody over. Get the first down. Etienne, have a day. I say we keep feeding this man, Etienne. Have a day, and there's gonna be a hole in the middle, and he's gonna go ahead and get to the, the one yard line. ETN, you need to finish this drive. Finish the drive, ETN, come on. He's gonna go ahead and take the handoff, and he's gonna lower his shoulder, breaks the tackle, and he's gonna score. ETN has been listening to the comments. He's been listening to y'all. Oh, he's not a running back. He's a receiving back, but he's going ahead, and he's having a game. Look at this man. He can't run the ball. We need a better running back. No, look at him. We haven't had any defensive moments this game, but it is first and ten. We're going to go ahead and throw the ball. Going to go ahead and score. We got someone underneath. That's going to be Robinson throwing a man off of him, and we're going to go no huddle here. We're going to call timeout. I lied. We're going to call a timeout. Second and three. Higgins is being pressed on the outside. That could be dangerous. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Higgins, or like Himmins? Look at that man go. Going up and getting it in one on one coverage. I forced it. Oh no, why? Not a good play, Tana. Not a good play. Oh, that's so bad. It is third and two. I do not want to go ahead and throw the ball here, but they do got seven in the box. Four verts is probably the wrong play here, but we're going to try and run it. We're going to have Jameson Williams in the middle of the seat. But wait, there's more. And it goes right through his hands. God, we really got to try not. We threw back-to-back -back picks. And it's going to be a third? No. Ah! Higgins just can't hang out of the ball. Fourth down. We're just going to go ahead and kick. We got to make. We got to kick it. We got to kick the field goal here. And we shank it. Uh, this is what happens when you just don't play franchise for weeks. Oh, no. And this will stay a one-score game as the lead holds. Right off the side of his foot. Third and ten. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna run cover four here. Lance gonna throw. He's gonna go ahead and find the open man in the middle of the field. Go ahead and bring him down. That's a first down for Trey Lance. We're rocking the eye formation here. Second or third and nine. They're just gonna go ahead and hand the ball off on third and nine. That's gonna be a big stop by the defense. Boswell's kick is good. Two picks, missing the extra point, guys. We can't. We can't do this. We can't. No. We need to. We need to play smart. We need to win this game. It's gonna be first and ten in the red zone. We're gonna go ahead and run the ball. Simmons is right there for it though, and he's gonna go ahead and bring him down behind the line. I don't like Isaiah Simmons at 51. We might have to change that. We're gonna go ahead. He's going to dish it out to his running back, and Baker's going to make a big hit on him, and it's going to be third and six. And he's going to go ahead and tuck it out and run, and Simmons is going to lay the lumber, but he hangs on to the ball. Trey Lance is a little risky for not sliding. I'm not going to lie. We need to get a stop here, guys. 14 to nine. You can't let him get in the end zone. They're going to go ahead and pitch to the outside. It's going to be the wrong play. And we're Kyle Duggar is going to bring him behind the line. Second and goal. We're going to use their Kyle Duggar here. They're going to try and hand the ball to the middle. And Kyle Duggar is going to lay the lumber. A lot of big hit. Third and goal. We need a big stop here. They're going to go ahead and throw the ball. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to get a sack. Josh Allen. Getting in there. That's huge. And they're going to have to go ahead and kick for kick for three with five minutes left to go we maintain the lead see if we can get someone open no nope, we're gonna go underneath the albert oh that's not albert that's not albert and it's gonna be fourth and one taking the field goal we're gonna make him score 
This to at least make it a five-point cushion. And Lutz is going to go ahead and drain it. Thank good. God I got the timing down on that one. That could have been very bad. Two-minute drill. Defense needs to hold. You guys know what time it is. Cue the music. First and 10 on their own 25. This is for the game. This is for victory on Monday night in Mexico. We're going to go. Big Griffin with the interception. And he's going to go ahead and take it in the red zone. And we're going to win this game. Griffin with the huge pick. Good night. He throws to the opposite side of the field off his back foot. Doing a 360. How foolish can you get when a play has to be made? Griffin makes it happen. Read option third and eight. We are just going to hand this ball off to ETN, I think. We hand it off to ETN. Make sure we don't fumble. We are going to hand it off to him. He's going to get positive yards. And now we can go ahead and kick this for three. Hopefully seal this win. It's not over yet, though. It, 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 theoretically, it is not over yet. Eight-point lead. We got to stop them from scoring and getting the two-point conversion. <clears throat> Cue the music again. First and 10 on their own 25. We need another stop. He scrambles, throwing off his side foot, throws it to Miles Sanders. If we can't make the tackle, he's going to go ahead and get out of bounds. First and 10 for him again. Is Trey Lance him? How foolish are you, Trey Lance, to play against my defense? The corners have came up big this game. Huge. That's two interceptions on the day. Stokes goes up and gets it. Jamar Chase can't even beat Stokes. And that's going to do it for, for us in Mexico City. Our new town. That's our new home next year. I just forgot. We are relocating there. And we get a W here. I'm so happy for that, man. Go ahead. Do your little greetings in the middle of the field. Jalen, make sure you give him some pointers because he's going to need it. He's blind out there. 238 passing yards, 146 rushing yards. ETN and Jalen Hurts having a good day. We did throw three picks, though. This won't happen very often. Yeah. Yeah, I, I literally, I know you guys tell me, bro, I need to stop with the interceptions, but I can't help it. I can't help it. Let's go ahead and let's look at the stats. Jalen Hurts went 20 for 32 for 300 yards with three interceptions and only one touchdown. ETN had 89 yards, one touchdown himself. T. Higgins had himself six catches, 120 yards, and a touchdown. Jameson Williams had five catches for 37 yards. Defensively, we had... Josh Allen with three tackles for a loss. I, um, Ioannidis with two tackles for a loss. Isaiah Simmons with two tackles for a loss. Josh Allen had three sacks. TJ Watt had a sack. And on the other end, Shaquille Griffin and Stokes both getting themselves interceptions. Honestly, man, I'm just impressed with the team overall. Honestly, the only disappointment was me throwing two interceptions, which could have honestly cost the game and the missed field goal. But other than that, what a game. Oh, uh, it's gonna. Should I just throw the bag at Griffin just for that? He moved to seven and four on the year, number one in the NFC West, and it looks like there's no competition at all in our division. I appreciate you guys for watching and kicking it in, man. Like I said, if you guys want to see more of the fantasy draft with the Arizona Cardinals, please make sure you sure you guys hit the sub button. It would mean the world to me. Like, comment, all that stuff. Little things like that do help me move up the algorithm. It gets my video out more for more people to view and enjoy. So literally, if you guys could do that, it would mean the world to me i'm gonna go ahead and record a few more episodes so i gotta head out i appreciate you guys tell someone you love them and with that being said